Hi guys! Welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, panibagong learning na naman. And magsasagot tayo ng isang random math problem galing from number theory. So most likely kasi yung ginagawa dito is trial and error. Pero in this problem, gagawin natin siyang systematic yung solution natin. So ito yung problem. Let x be the least positive integer such that 10x is a perfect square. So parang x is a multiplier. And 6x is a perfect cube. How many positive factors does the number x have? Okay? So, ito ang gagawin natin. So, first, consider natin yung una. So, yung 10x daw mga lodi is a perfect square. So, let's say that is a squared. Bakit a squared? Kasi nga perfect square that can be written in the form a squared, b squared, etc. So, ang tanong, paano natin gagawin yan, Sir IJ? So, first step mga lodi, ang gawin natin is yung 10, gawin natin siyang prime factorization. So, yung 10 that can be written as 2 times 5 times x is equal to a squared. Okay? So, hahanap tayo ng multiplier such that itong expression na to will be a perfect square. So, di ba? Sinabi ko ka kanina na kapag perfect square that is yung exponent natin is 2 or mas specific is even number. Kapag kunyari naka prime factorization na siya. Kunyari 2 times 3 times 5. So, kapag yung exponent ni 2 ni 3 and 5 all together are all even, automatic that is a perfect square. Ganun po siya mga lods. So, ano na mangyayari? So, kung mapapansin nyo, kulang to ng ilang 2. So, di ba ang exponent ng 2 dito mga lodi is 1? Dito is 1. So, ibig sabihin, kung 1 na yung exponent na yan, kulang pa yan ng isa pang uh, 2. Bakit? Kasi nga, para maging even siya mga lodi. So, that will become x equals 2 raised to 1, mga idol, times. So, multiplier to ha. Yung 5 natin, kulang ng isa, baka na dito, Kasi 1 plus 1 will become even. Least na yun mga lodi. Pwede namang 3 din. Pero syempre, doon tayo sa pinakamababa, positive integer. Kasi kunyari 1 plus 3 is for that is still even. That makes it a perfect square. So ganito rin. Pero, so pumipi ako mga lodi. Pero dapat magkakaroon tayo dito ng multiplier. Like for example, that is t squared. Bakit t squared sir IJ? Kasi perfect square dapat siya. Hindi natin alam yung number na to, pero nagmultiply tayo ng t squared na sure tayo na perfect square. Okay? So, yan na. Okay na tayo dito sa value ng x natin sa una. Tapos, yung pangalawang condition, 6x is a perfect cube. So, tuwing kailan ba magiging perfect cube ang isang uh, number? Kapag yung prime factorization form niya, lahat ng exponent mo, it's divisible by 3. Ganun siya. Kunyari, uh, like, like for example, 2 to the 6 times 3 to the 9 times 5 raised to uh, 3. This is a perfect cube. Bakit? Kasi dapat lahat ng exponent natin is divisible by 3 or multiple of 3. So, ganun siya. So, ano na mangyari dyan, Sir IJ? So, yung 6x natin mga lodi, this can be written as 2 times 3. Ano ba tong x natin? That is times 2 times 5 times t squared. Eh, kailangan, di ba, ito must be a perfect cube. So, that must be in the form, let's say, M cube or B cube. So, ano na mangyari? Paano natin makukuha tong value ng T? Okay, so makinig maigi mga Lodi. Alam ko nakakalito to. Pero sige, makinig kay maigi. So, that is 2 times 3. So, this will become times 2 times 5. Eto, since T squared to, so dapat even yung exponent nito. At the same time, magdidepende tayo dun sa prime factorizations na meron na tayo dun sa expression natin. Di ba ano yung prime factorizations natin mga Lodi? 2, 3, and 5. Therefore, yung t squared must be written in the form 2 raised to 2a, 3 raised to 2b, uh, or sige, gamit tayo ng ibang variable. Sorry mga Lods. So let's say 2 raised to 2c, 3 raised to 2d, tsaka 5 raised to 2e. Bakit ganyan sa RJ? Kasi dapat ito is a perfect square. Dapat even yung exponent natin. Okay? Tapos, Sir IJ, paano natin ma-ensure ngayon na perfect cube yan? So, di ba dapat yung exponent natin must be divisible by 3? So, ito, meron na tayong dalawang 2 dito, di ba? So, that is already 2 squared. Kapag yung C is 1, this will become 2 times 1, that is 2. 2 squared times 2 squared, that is 2 to the 4th, hindi siya perfect cube kasi 4 yung exponent. So, try natin yung 2. So, C equals 2, 2 times 2, that is 4. May 2 na tayo sa kabila. 2 squared times 2 to the 4th, 
that is 2 to the 6, that is a perfect cube. Therefore, yung value ni si dito is 2. Okay, mga lodi? How about yung D? Ilan yung 3 natin dito, mga lods? Isa lang, di ba? Yung exponent natin. Or isa lang yung 3 natin na factor. So, ano yung D natin? So, simula tayo sa 1. 2 times 1, that is 2. So, dalawang 3, isang 3, that makes it 3 cube. That is perfect cube. So, that is D equals 1. Tapos, E is equal to, so, isang E, so, sorry, isang E tuloy, isang 5. So, try natin yung 1, 2 times 1, that is 2. So, ano na mangyayari, mga lodi? So, pwede na yun kasi may isa ka ng 5, then dalawang 5, that will make it 5 cube, which is a perfect cube. Therefore, E is equal to 1. So, summarize natin. Ano value ngayon ng x? Di ba yung x natin kasama yung 2 times 5? So, yung x natin will be equal to 2 times 5 times etong expression na to mga lodi. Ano yung c natin? That is 2. So, that is 2 to the 4th multiplied by 3. 1 times 2, that is 3 squared multiplied by 5 raised to 2. E, 2 times 1, that is 2. So, isimplify natin. So, we have, kapag sinimplify natin itong mga load, x equals 2 to the 5th multiplied by 3 squared times 5 cube. Tama, mga loads. Double check natin, ha? So, meron tayong dalawang 2, okay, 2 to the 5th, tatlong 5, okay, isang 3 squared. So, ano na mangyari? Ilan yung positive factors niyan? Paano ulit tayo nagko-compute ng positive factors? Diba, ina-add lang natin mga load yung exponent. I mean, ina-add natin nag a tayo ng 1 sa exponent, then multiply. So, balikan nyo na lang yung tutorial ko doon, just in case nakalimutan nyo. So, ang gagawin nyo lang, add 1 sa mga exponents, then multiply. For example, is ito na nga. Okay, so nag-add lang ako ng 1 dito sa mga exponent, mga loads, and then multiply natin. Baka nagtataka kayo, bakit ako nag-add ng 1? Kasi ang factors ng 2 to the 5th are 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 4th, 2 cube, 2 squared, 2 to the 1, and... 2 raised to 0, kaya 6 siya. So, nag-add ng 1 for the factor of 1. That is 2 raised to 0. Similar, similar din yung sa ibang factors natin. Di ba mga loads? So, ano mangyari dito sir, IG? So, this is 6 times 3 times 4. So, this is equal to 72. Therefore, the answer to this question is 72. So, just in case meron kayong questions or clarifications, since alam ko mahirap talaga tong topic na to, so, huwag kayo mahihiyang magtanong mga lodi. Salamat sa patuloy na pag-support and sa pag-subscribe sa channel natin. And keep safe na lang mga lods. And I hope you all the best. See you in my next match. Video. And bye-bye.